Hello, this is ZDs. Welcome back to another Mario Maker 2 video. Clearing more unclear 2020 levels. Uh, I have the normal five for you. One in each style. We'll start with 3D World. Uh, <laughs> a lot of sucky levels today. I did get one decent level and I got pissed off I didn't boot it. But uh, this level is not that. This is, um,. I can tell right from the title, from what I'm seeing, that I am not supposed to get these keys. Uh, there are levels that do this where you have to avoid the keys, and then uh, eventually you'll hit a, a check that you have to pass through, where if you have a key, uh, you lose. Uh, I immediately messed up. But we're, we're gonna go forward to see what we're dealing with. Uh, see if there's cheese, although the 3D world version of this level is very easy to make cheese proof. But, uh, so I'm, I'm not avoiding any keys at this point. But what I'm seeing is there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of keys to avoid. Um, <clears throat> since the general idea with Since the general idea with keys is that they want to make them easy to get, their hitboxes are terrible. Uh, they're really hard to avoid. Like, I, I thought for sure I would have avoided that first one, but yeah. Uh, there's no cheese there, so... Start over again. <clears throat> and man, they are hard to avoid. So, seeing how difficult this looks. I looked in the program, the Wizardless program, to see if there was any um, dev route, because it looks way too hard. And yes, there is. If you looked up there, I jumped up high and I saw a pipe. Um, but I did already get a key. I'm gonna see if, uh, you know, you have to if you can get any keys you want, maybe you can get it, but I can see right away that there is another check right before the flag. Um, so I'm looking around just to see if there's anything. But it's definitely, there's only one path towards the flag and there's a, a key box there. Uh, I, I got keys. I just kind of wanted to show what it what would happen if I got the key and went through there. I'm, I'm actually glad I did this. I wasn't looking at the program that hard because there's a hidden block here with a key in it, which that's just fucking wonderful. <laughs> Here's what happens. You fall to your death. I think there's even a checkpoint in this level, but man, I think there's probably a dev route through the checkpoint too. I didn't look that far because... <clears throat> Getting to that checkpoint is hardly possible. I don't think they did it. They would have to beat it from the checkpoint in your in this clear check, but uh, like I said, there's probably another dev route when you get that far. So yeah, here's here's the life where I actually do avoid the keys. Very, it's very difficult. I'm actually surprised I did the area by the flag so easily or so well. This this life, this one's tough because you you have to duck and and get in that hole. Um, but if you duck too long in 3D World, you do a backflip and you go really high. Almost entirely useless move that you never use, but it can heck ya. That's that garbage level. Doesn't let me leave a comment, so I can't even tell people where the dev exit is. Hopefully people will look around. Well, that's the garbage level. Yeah, that one had like 80 tries before I even started it. I'm surprised anyone gave it that much attention. Cause yeah, there's uh, he makes it like he makes it absolutely impossible. I mean, it's not it, it, it could be beaten, I guess, but it's th those keys are so hard to avoid. Uh, the uh, NSMBU level uh, is um, not the worst level in the world, uh, and it's not very difficult either. It didn't have many tries. Except for that first level, almost all the levels I played today had, like, no tries. Like, 
I think the next highest one was like 24 tries, but this one had, what, like 15 maybe, 14, something like that. No, 13, I think, because, yeah, so. Uh, I, I don't know what to say about this level. It's, um, like I said, it's not terrible. <clears throat> about throwing snowballs at stuff. Um, there's, there's certain areas where... Like if I got uh, into that area to the right, that would that would be death. Um, there's nothing I can't get out of there. I don't think. I'm just trying to hit that on and off switch, and I did. Uh, but the next area, I immediately get hit into the, the wall or the, the thing. I didn't know a big snowball was coming out of there. And I'm like, oh crap, am I stuck here? I'm looking around, and I'm like, maybe I can knock some of these springs out of the way. Sometimes you can bounce shit around. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see if I can get out of this. Um, and I don't even see when it happens, but eventually I do throw a spring and it goes uh, up here. So I, I can get out of there, actually. And I can take a spring with me for the next part if I need it. I don't know if I really need it. Actually, I don't think I even use it for real. This one, I'm looking at it, and it definitely looks again like if I get knocked past those walls, I'm dead. Uh, so, I'll try to avoid that. Uh, there are two red coins. You can see the one below, below me, and you can see the one to the right, but there is one to the right somewhere. Yeah, I'm looking up here to see if I can cheese this. Uh, I looked in the editor after I beat this level, and I'm like, it's possible if I took this spring, which I'm not supposed to have, it's from the previous section, I could go to the right, and I could get over to the flag. It would be very difficult, though. I'd probably have to do a spring drop or something, and, uh, those blinking blocks make me think that if I try to do a spring, br a, sp a spring drop, I would just mess up. But yeah, there's a wall I could have got over. Yeah, I'm, I'm tr really trying to avoid. It's obviously it's night, night, uh, snow theme, so it's slippery. Everything is slippery in that theme. Um, I really, I actually really love uh, the music, the low key music for uh, 3D. I actually like it for pretty much everything, but the 3D world one I really like. So here I get the first coin. That's that's pretty cute. There's some springs down there. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have the spring that I have, but like I said, I don't know if it, it could come in handy. I thought about, like, uh, cheesing this and seeing if I could get a world record, a really good world record, but I do notice if the snowball hits me right here it, it, and I'm big, it hits me into this block and it actually can't hurt me, so I just make sure I keep it on here. And yeah, you just have to get a really good throw. Uh, I'm going to take the spring with me. But I think this is it. Is this the level? I don't remember. Yeah, that's that's the level. Yeah, if you look to the left, there's a the, the note box there. There's, that wall does not go all the way up. But yeah, I cheesed that one one shot. I don't um I don't get too many one shots, but uh probably only like three or four times, if that. I don't give that one a like. It's not great. It's okay. It's not that bad. Uh the the Super Mario World level next is the best level I play this round, but I got really frustrated with it. I, it's definitely, I boot it, and I don't have, I don't think I have a clip of the boo in here, but it, it's a, it's a bitch boo. <laughs> it was, I, there's just, it's just one particular jump that killed me every time, and it, this one took me nearly a half an hour to beat it, which isn't that long, but for such a short level, uh, I learned, I learned it really well, and then there's just one extremely difficult jump at the end. And I, also, I don't like auto-scrolls very much. I, this is a fast auto-scroll. It's probably the second. There's three levels of auto-scroll. I think this is the middle one. Um, but I, I do like the concept. It's not a bad level. It's well designed, well enough designed. You know, it's not super complicated, but... Yeah, this one, I don't, I don't know if I would give it a like. I might give it a like. Uh, so there are th three red coins. Uh, they're not technically required. Uh, you definitely wanted a Z-jump there. 
could have indicated, I guess, but whatever. It's not that big a deal. Um, oh, he does indicate it. I'm an idiot. Uh, so if you get to this one on the right, it'll explode. I'm not sure what he wants me to do with this shell, but I just put it on and, uh... So here's the, the jump right here. That jump is just demonic. <laughs> uh, th that's a really tough jump. Um, and I'll show multiple uh, attempts. Uh, I probably only made it over here. So if I have a key, I can go through the key door. But if I don't have a key, I can make another really difficult jump off a blue platform. I don't even know if that's possible, really. It looks really, really hard. Uh, you would have it would have to be a spin jump and here I actually got the key but I was not lined up with the door I I swear I hit up at this point here's the final life yeah it's this is you have to react really quickly to that you have to be in the middle of the platform and you have to be holding up pretty much instantly um, but yeah getting the red coins is probably required I don't I really don't see that you can make that last jump um, but you know, I've been through this enough where get it, you're going to get the last red coin, so you might as well get them all. I think I think there's really just no way you could make that jump. It just doesn't seem possible. Timing that would be so hard. Just easier to get the red coins. It gives you a bonus if you get if you get the red coins, though. Yeah, I don't I, like. I don't know. It 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 could be possible. I, I it would be really hard. I mean, it gives you enough space to jump through there, but timing it would be really tough. Um, yeah, I I do regret booing that one. I, I probably should even give it a like. It's a decent level. Um, but God, it's tough. That's a tough one. I think I've spent at least 50 lives on that one for such a short level. I I do feel like that last jump is is maybe just tad more difficult than the rest of the level. Anyway, the Super Mario Brothers 3 level is the weirdest and most annoying level. Um, it's a, basically a one-trick level, although it's a one-trick you have to do three times. I feel like a lot of this is luck, and you notice that I've already booted I played it for a half an hour, then I was like, I have to pee. <laughs> and I got up, and I stopped it. Because it's the same thing over and over again, so it's not like it wouldn't be that interesting to edit or watch. You, you really only want to see one good attempt, and this is the first first life you have a hundred seconds to do this and it's only three jumps but yeah you have to get basically it's really hard to even understand but you have to get right between the no block and that sideways spring and it'll shoot you up to the next one which you have to land in the exact right spot to get up to the third one which you have to hit the right spot and then you can get to the end if you if you hit all three jumps perfect you get to the end uh, and it's just a matter of doing it over and over again. It was very annoying and very difficult. Um, and a lot of luck. It feels just like a lot of luck. Because you can't really time this chump. It's just, I mean, you can kind of time it, but not really. I, I think ultimately what I did was this little duck jump in here. I feel like I got had more success doing it that way than any other way. I did try from a, an angle... I tried jumping from the back, uh, and every time I did it, I would, I could get the first jump, but the second jump I landed way too high. Yeah, you'll see me at least. I'm only gonna show two lives: the first, first attempt in this uh, recording session, and then the success. And the, my success is great, by the way. Uh, just, just like almost instantly. Here, here, I got to the third one. I got to the third one. Sometimes you can bounce back into the previous one too. It was, that was kind of funny. I don't think I do that here. Be up here, and I'll I'll show the final attempt. Uh, I recorded for a half an hour, and then I recorded for about 18 minutes. So this one almost took me 50 minutes to beat. Um, I do this almost instantly. I can't believe how how successful. And I just ran right to the right to the goal. Might as well get the best time I could get. No one's getting that record for me. I don't think you could do it the first try, I guess. I did check out his uh, clear time, and it was uh, 50 seconds, I think, or 55 seconds. It was uh, a lot. And I did I do it like in 13. Here I draw him a nice. Uh, it's a pumpkin, I think. I don't know. 
<laughs> I think I did this one other time on one of these videos. Try to draw a middle finger and it just looks like shit. But, uh... Yeah, that uh, that was actually, that hurt my thumbs. Because I was just, you, you're just kind of jamming on the buttons. Hoping you get it right. You also have to hit the jump button at the perfect time, too. Uh, on to the Super Mario Brothers 1 level. Uh, I don't do this very often, but this is a, a template, template level. When you start up the game, uh, there's always a level that Nintendo made. And you can upload <coughs> upload those levels. <clears throat> I usually wouldn't include a template level. Uh, but the, he changes it enough. And this is actually quite challenging. Um, uh, but the first half of it, is, there's, there is a checkpoint. The first half of it is very difficult. Uh, the second half is actually kind of fun. Um... I boo it right now because it is a template level. I always boo the template levels. Although I will say that I recently realized that I played a template level uh, that I gave a heart to. And uh, it was because it's one, it one that I never see. And I didn't realize it was a template level. It was a water, the water level. Oh, here, by the way. I don't know, I think the fire bars don't spawn in until you reach it, but you can spawn this fire bar in in such a way that you cannot get out of this situation at all. I'm trying to wait for the timing, but it's like the timing is exactly every time the same. So I don't, I don't spawn it weird, but yeah, this is annoying. Anyway, I did give a like to a template level that I didn't realize was one. It was a 10 second speed run on a water level, but they took the water out. Uh, and it was fun, too. Uh, I just didn't realize it was a template level. But I guess, um, it was challenging, so, I don't know. This one is, honestly, it's not... This first part is pretty annoying. Um, the second half I actually kind of like. But, uh, I, I don't even recognize it as part of the template level, but it is. Um, so you have to get past this. Uh, so there's, like, no way to get through this without damage boosting. Uh, this part right here. Um, I, w I went up because it's, there's a key there. I don't know if that's in the original template or not. But it's a troll because there is no key up there. There's just death. Um, what you need to do is get that mushroom and damage boost down here. Because you can't actually like get through this. Uh, I don't think you can even jump to the other side of that. You might be able to. I don't know. It would be very difficult. Um, so yeah, you want to get that mushroom get hit, and then damage boost to the bottom. That's the only real way to do it, I think. Uh, and I kept grabbing onto the damn vines, because you always do. Uh, no matter how good your controller is, you always... And Or I land on something and get stuck. So yeah, you just have to you just have to get hit at the last possible moment, and I think I do it here. That's this is the only real challenge of this. I mean, I, the only really hard part of this level is this this section. Uh, getting through this section. Yeah, here I get hit. I want to go fast. I didn't realize that guy was at the bottom the first time, so I I failed it. And then there's a you get another mushroom right here anyway. I not even sure that I get hit after this uh, this part anyway. But you could easily get hit here. Oh yeah, no, I do get hit, because yeah, I don't know if there's a way to make it up here without getting hit. And I got a checkpoint, which is good. And you get us some Super Mario Brothers 2 stuff, there's a Fanto. Uh, Fanto, always pretty annoying, he's pretty hard to predict where he's gonna be. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's fun uh, to dodge Fanto if... If, if it's a fair arena where... Oh, here I show... This part I'm really stupid. I didn't hit that on-off. So I have to get over here. And I have a power-up. So you're kind of stuck here. But I do have the cursed key. So I, I can get hit by Phanto. I just have to wait for him to hit me. <clears throat> if you didn't get the key, though, you could get soft-locked right here. For sure. But you'd have to be an idiot. <laughs> like I am. 
I'm gonna see if I, I don't know if I need that to I totally messed up. I, maybe I killed myself there. I don't remember. Um, you don't need the power up actually. Uh, oh, you, uh, no, you don't. I can't, I did kill the, I killed the bullet launcher. That was the problem. Um, as long as you have a bullet to jump on, it's, this part's fine. You can get through it. Uh, some more fire bark crap. <laughs> I thought maybe I had to go up that pipe. I didn't. I kind of get forced to jump there because of the fire bars. Um, there's, you see the pipe up to the right? That's where I'm going. Yeah, I think this part is in the original template level, but he did change it a bunch. I did leave a message on this, on this level. I didn't show it, but, uh, this is called, the, this level is called Drug Trip. And it's in Spanish, but the description says, uh, a depiction of the time I took drugs or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it says. And I, and I said, you took drugs and saw a template level? That's boring. Or something like that. Um, I, I, I get pissed at people who upload template levels because it's just, stop being lazy. I don't, even if you're a kid, that's the only excuse you should have for uploading a template level, but even if you're a kid, you gotta, you gotta do your own shit, man. I, w I really wish they wouldn't let you do the template levels. I also always thought that uh, when you load up the game, if you already have levels uploaded, those should be in rotation uh, with with the template levels. Uh, <clears throat> and hell, if you want it, like, there's no way to just play the template levels either. I don't know why there's not, but that's fine, I guess, but you, you wouldn't want to play the template levels because they're all really boring. So you can get in this this door with the uh, with the power up, but uh, you have to do this little climb here, uh, which is really hard even when you're small. I actually speed it up a little bit, but when you're large, it's this is it's possible, but it's not very easy. So I actually go back to the previous room and take damage. I'm I'm after I go through the key door, the Fanto is at least gone, so I don't have to worry too much about him. Thank God. <clears throat> yeah, we'll speed it up here. It took me a little while. Yeah, I think this took took me a couple minutes to do. Um, and you're upside down, so that makes it harder to calculate it. Um, you want to start off from the bottom rung, it's the easiest way. And it's really hard to get into that bottom uh, spot. <laughs> this is, it's, it's difficult, but at least there's nothing to hurt me, so. Not too bad. Um, if you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.